Hi. So this short video is going to show you how to log into Zoom and how to use it for a meeting. So this is assuming that you're being invited to a meeting, not that you're hosting a meeting. Okay, because that there's a bunch of other steps for that. So when you are invited to a meeting, the person who's uh, hosting the meeting or inviting you the, to the meeting can send you an email invite. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my screen and then we can um, you, you can see how what that looks like. So here is my screen. So if somebody invites you to a meeting, you might get something in your email that looks like this. Okay, so it's an invitation uh, and I set up one that's called how to use Zoom. Okay, and I put it for, for, for today's time and date. And you can reply back and just say yes. Uh, and this will actually put a time slot into your calendar for you so that you don't have to remember. And to use the Zoom uh, before the meeting, a couple of minutes before the meeting, come back to the email or in your calendar, go to the event. And what you're going to want to do is just click on this link that's provided. So this link contains a unique number. It's a, a unique identifier for each um, meeting that's taking place. So the person that's hosting the meeting can either just give you this number, this 23808 number, or they can email it to you or text it to you. How, however they want to send it to you, it's fine. Okay, you can use the Zoom platform that's on your laptop, your computer, your tablet, or your cell phone. I always recommend using it uh, on, on your desktop or your laptop just because if you're doing a video, you want to be able to see that person and they want to be able to see you. You also want to log in a couple minutes early just in case there's sort of any audio or audio or video issues. And depending on what um, what tool you're using, you might have to download the app. Okay, and so you want to give a couple of minutes to be able to do that. Another way to get into the tool is from the Zoom web page. So it's at zoom.us. There's a link here called join a meeting, and you can just click on that, and that will take you there. This hosting a meeting is for the person who's planning the meeting. So if you're just being invited to a meeting, you don't need to worry about the hosting a meeting. But to join a meeting, you just click on the, on the join a meeting, and then you would type in that ID code here. So that code that we just talked about, that 208 number, whatever, you just type that in there, and then you um, go join. Okay, so I'm gonna just do that with, with you quickly, and you can see what that looks like. Okay, so because I'm recording this one, I'm not in that in that other meeting. So what it's going to say here is you're already in another meeting because I'm in another meeting. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to get out of that. So that is how you would. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just going to share again because what I want to be able to show you is while you are when after you've logged in, if there is no audio or no video. Okay, so what you would do to resolve that, okay, so once you've logged in, what you will see at the bottom of your screen, so I'm actually using a different tool right now to record this because you don't see this in Zoom from my, like from your side looking on to my side. So I wanna be able to show you this. So if there's any audio issues, uh, so let's say you log in and they can't, the person can't hear you. Okay, what you wanna do is click on your screen and over here, there's a mic button. You want to just click on that, and that will either mute or unmute you. Okay. And the same thing with the video. When you log in, if you're not able to see the other person or they cannot see you, it's probably something to do with this video. Okay. If the other person asks you to share the screen, then what you want to do is go into this share button and click on there. And then there's a bunch of things here that you can share. Okay. And then you just click on this blue button that says share. If you want to send somebody a chat, you click on this chat here and you can just type in, you know, test or whatever. And that will go to everybody that's in the meeting and you can move this around. Mm -hmm. And if you want to just send it. So if there's multiple people in the meeting, you would just select this and then you can select the individual to send it to send it to. So you want to be careful because if you want to send a private note to somebody, you want to make sure that you're you only select that person. Otherwise, that private note is going to go to everybody that's in the meeting. Okay, and then when you are done, you would just 
at the bottom here where it says end meeting, um, it would say end meeting or leave meeting. Okay, and then that's where you'd go. If, um, if you want to adjust your screen, there'd be something up here that you would be able to adjust. And this is for the full screen. There's ones where you could have multiple people, like all the different participants, all showing at the same time. Okay, so, okay. so that is a short video on how to use Zoom. Okay, thanks.